Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this In the Middle of the Week Wednesday where we deal with the hard stuff in recovery. So okay, my name is Sheila Rollins for those of you who do not know and I am the founder of Sugar Ministries Entertainment and Associates Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous. We will support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and what he's accomplished for us on the cross. So therefore, our deliverance, our holiness, our justification, our sanctification, um, the things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Christ. Okay? So, we have chosen the greatest higher power. So, okay, so um, I thought I would come in and talk about or ask the question whether if you have plans for this long holiday weekend. Um, one commentator says, if we don't plan, then we plan to fail. And so um, that may not be the correct saying, but it's something about if you don't plan, you, you plan to fail. So we want to be on top of things. So I thought that I would just talk about the importance of planning ahead. So you want to avoid pitfalls because, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, uh, for us to be vigilant, you know, because our enemy is out there to try to trip us up. So it's very, very important if you, you want to hold on to your sobriety, and I know that you do, that you would plan to have good, clean fun, you know, and to avoid people, places, and things that may pull you backwards and you know we can't listen to satan say just this time just this little bit of time because you know satan plays for keeps all right um then you know if we fall into that then we have the guilt and the shame and we want to deal with the guilt and shame because somehow or another we we tell ourselves that when we feel awful about what we've done that um you know, it's a punishment or something like that. But however, we're not condemned as God's people. And we don't have to stay in there. All we have to do is ask for forgiveness and just move on, you know. Um, and God will receive us, okay. But it is important that we be watchful, we be vigilant, you know. And um, be watchful that um, of the devil's, of his trickery. You know, so that you have a good time. Um, try to look at the end result and the decisions that you have to make. If you do X, Y, Z, these things will happen, you know, and make your choice basically like starting from the end result. Like what will happen when, not if, but when you do X, Y, Z, certain things is going to happen. So, um... I think that after today or maybe after Friday, I might take a, a couple of days or I might just take a week because I've been kind of going strong basically um, since um, the new year uh, without a break like every day and some days three times a day, three times a week. So, um, so I'm thinking that I'm thinking about taking a break. So if you don't see me, you know that um, today is Wednesday that I'll be back next Thursday. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll be probably doing if you don't see me. Or I might do um, Friday and come back next Saturday. You'll see. But I haven't yet decided yet. But I'm just kind of feeling like, you know, with everything that I'm experiencing, the deaths and the sicknesses and I got more information today about a loved one that is in hospice and so that's two loved ones in hospice well it was three but now it's two loved ones in hospice and just feeling the need just to kind of take a break you know I don't want to give the devil no leeway you know so I just want to kind of rest up a little bit you know, it's more emotional and mental than anything but anyhow we need to take um an inventory of ourselves to see what we need and to deal with ourselves based on a need because we are important 
you know, God made us, you know, and he's creating us, recreating us um, in his image. And so sometimes we just need to take a break. So, uh, but yes, do plan ahead of time. You might have to go all the way back, maybe when you was a kid, things that you may have done. And, you know, now that a lot of people are getting out more and that kind of thing, you know, people are having like cookouts and, you know, picnics and, you know, that kind of thing. You just plan to be around people that have higher standards, people that um, want the same things that you want, okay, um, is doing the same things that you're doing. I'm talking about the positive things, Um Strong drink and liquor and, and substances and, you know, premarital sex. Those things are not for kings and queens, okay? So we got to make sure that, you know, we invite God in and ask for his leading and guiding. If you haven't um, before had to create a plan for yourself, like around the holidays and stuff like that, whereas years ago you may have dealt with it one way, but now that you get to sobriety, you know, you desire to do it in a more healthy way. And maybe this is the first time for you. Um, you know, I would be encouraging you to be, get creative, you know. I mean, you might want to stay in the house with your kids and have a, a bake-off. You know, maybe everybody's making banana bread or everybody's making cookies or something, you know, to see who does it the best. Or, you know, just, just get creative, you know. Um, a man on a grill, you know, you and your son, you know, one on one grill and one on the other. You both going to make whatever, you know, vegan spare ribs. OK, but, you know, like I said, you know, get creative, you know, be mindful. Um, you know, don't re don't forget, like the less fortunate, you know, those that cannot get out, maybe, um, you know, if you have a cookout or something like that, you know, maybe you can take them a plate, you know, um, you know, some of the homeless and stuff may not have nowhere to go, you know, for the holiday and stuff, you know, consider them, you know, you know, um, you know, you could take your family, you know, fix plates for them and stuff, you know, maybe you could set aside, I don't know, five, six, seven plates for the homeless. And that would be a nice thing for your children to see you know, like you're giving to the community, you know, I mean, glove up and mask up and everything like that, of course, you know, but, um, you know, it would just be nice. And trust me when I tell you, you know, God would add to whatever you have if you share it. Okay. So, you know, so basically, you know, that's what I wanted to do. Just encourage you um, to get started ahead of time. Today's Wednesday, you know, you got a couple of days before Friday rolls in here. You know, you might want to maybe look up some look some Google, some YouTube's like, you know, what can I do that's good and natural? You know, um, you know, deal with some friends, you know, like, you know, what, what can we do that's, you know, really positive and stuff like that? Um, I don't know if you know about the game pit, but the Lord blessed me to get a pit game, you know. So I don't know. Some somewhere between the three days I may do a pick game. It's just a, like a, a card game. It's just fun. Something like Uno, that kind of thing. Um, you know, it's not like, you know, spades and stuff, even though I like to play spades, but, um, you know, not, not no gambling, like the money games for money or nothing like that, but you know, it's just fun. A lot of laughter, you know, whatever. So I might do a pick game night or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I'm cool with just staying home and just resting. You know, I might pull out my grill. I got an electric grill. I might pull out my grills and, you know, put something on the grill. You know, some vegan steak and spare ribs and, you know, roast some corn. You know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly yet. Um, might be invited out. You know, I know tomorrow one of my nieces is going to her prom. And so we're supposed to meet around there to um, see her off. So that's a good thing. Some of the kids is graduating and stuff like that. All I'm saying is be prayerful, be busy, you know, um, rest when you need to rest, you know, and steer clear of Satan and his tricky. I love you. This is all I have for you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Okay. In the description, 
hit the description. You'll see my information if you want to order some of my food. Okay. Uh, remember to share, comment, subscribe. Um, give me some thumbs up. You know, remember to subscribe yourself and uh, check out my playlist. That's something that you could do. Like during the holiday, take some time. And I got some comedy on there. You will really enjoy it. You know, so I love you. See you in the next YouTube.